I'm going to go ahead and do who is coming towards you at the end of December. All right, so it's a general reading. I'm going to see who is coming towards every sign. I'm going to start it with an oracle card, and I'll get a situation. See kind of what the situation is. Uh, maybe what situation that person's going through. So you can kind of see, you know, whether or not you should, you know, reach out to this person. Maybe you should talk to them, things like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, who this person is, okay? So when I do the tarot spread, I'll do who are they? How are they perceiving their self to you? So how are you viewing this person when they approach you? And then the action that they're taking towards you. And then I will get an advice, okay, with the moonology. It's just a general reading. I will do a song as well, okay? So I'll do a song. I'll see how that resonates, all that good stuff. I'm going to do by elements. I'm going to do fire, water, earth, and air. All right, all the descriptions will be... Or all the timestamps will be in the description. Alright, so gonna start with Aries, gonna end with Aquarius. So fire, water, earth, air. Alright. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if it resonates. And it's just for fun to see, you know, who's coming towards you, all that good stuff. So let's get ready to do Aries. Alright, Aries. Let's see this person's energy. All right, let's see this person's energy towards you. What kind of energy are they in? What is the reason of them coming towards you? All right, courage in reverse. Okay, so you can be dealing with a Leo. Somebody that's kind of lacking courage or lacking, hey, how's it going? Lacking the, um, the ability to come towards you like they're afraid. Okay, we have adversity. This person could be having a challenge or they could see you as a challenge. Okay, so this person could see you as a literal challenge. And that's why they're kind of not feeling courageous to come towards you, Aries. All right, let's get a situation card. Let's see what the situation is. Why are they coming towards you? Twin flame. Okay, some of you, this person feels like they're your twin flame or you guys have a lot in common. Okay, retaliation, though. Some of you guys, this person's upset. Okay, or they're afraid that you're going to retaliate if they come towards them. All right, let's get a song. Ooh. Sorry, guys. All my cards just flipped. I'll go and take that because it flipped over. All right. So, we have the song Worse Than Me by Julia Michaels. I literally keep seeing this song. All right, the worst of me doesn't want to work on things. The best of me wants to love you. The worst of me doesn't want to. This person maybe don't have the courage to come towards you because they're not really sure if they want to fix this. All right? Maybe they're not really sure if they want to fix this connection or if it is fixable. You guys could be dealing with a twin flame. All right, I have that, and then I have courage in reverse. This person's afraid of uh, coming towards you for whatever reason. <coughs> Let's see, who's coming towards Aries? Who are they? How are you seeing them in their actions? Who this person is, Knight of Swords. Kind of inconsistent, kind of flighty. How you're seeing them, Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands in reverse. Could be a Gemini or a Capricorn. Moon reversed. Person maybe wants to tell you their feelings. They want to open up and tell you. Or who this person is, the Knight of Swords. They're kind of flighty. High Priestess in reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. For some of you, who this person is, is somebody you're not really sure if you can trust them. Okay, or this person is not trust trustworthy. This person could be somebody that's kind of bitter, that kind of has a lot of... Um, Secrets, this person's maybe emotionally unstable. This person's kind of um, flighty or inconsistent. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer or a Gemini. This person is very flighty. Okay, whoever this person is. Or this person has like maybe like an intimacy problem where they're not really wanting to get emotionally intimate. Or they're very just flighty. They're not really trustworthy and you can't really... When you use your intuition on this person, it's like you can't really figure them out. You know, it's when you can't really figure out. Some of you have somebody that you need to keep your space from. Seven of Wands. Okay. How you're seeing them. Queen of Pentacles. So you're seeing them as very stable. So they're putting on a show. For some of you, this person's putting on a show or an act. 
that they're more stable and secure than what they are. Five of Cups. Eight of Wands reversed. You're seeing this person as somebody that's focusing on themselves. They have a lot of regrets. They have a lot of past problems that they've been through. And this person could be coming off um, to you or how you're seeing them as kind of unavailable or they're focusing on more secure and stable things in their life and they're kind of detaching from communication. You could also see them at a distance, like they're currently at a distance, they've moved, or they're acting more distant, okay? Like they're taking their time, all right? And they're working on a lot of things in their self. Action are taken, four of wands in reverse. Seven of swords reversed. Two of swords. Two of wands reversed. Yeah, I think they're taking their time. Knight of Pentacles are taking their time to commit to you. Okay, we have the Knight to the King. I think they're taking their sweet ass time. Okay, this person, they're still kind of conflicted whether or not they want a relationship. And I think they're trying to figure themselves out or they're trying not to live their life a lie. I don't know why I thought of that song by Nine Inch Nails. Terrible lie. I don't know why. Maybe this person feels like they're lying to themselves or they want to make sure that they're going down the right path and they're still kind of confused as to what they want. But I feel like eventually they're on their self and they're going to come towards you. I think this person has a lot of things to figure out. Okay, Aries. This person has a lot of things to figure out, but I feel like they're slowly making their way to you. Okay, it's just taking some time, this person. Because their energy, courage in reverse. They don't have the courage. Okay, you're welcome. Ooh, let's go ahead and get your advice. I'm still half asleep. Sorry, guys. I woke up way too early. All right, advice for Aries. This person comes towards you, what should you do? Be bold, make the first move. For some of you, you're going to have to communicate with this person. If you don't want to talk to them, you don't have to. I'm just saying, if you want to make some kind of first move, you guys can. Okay? Bottom of the deck, have faith in your dreams. Okay? So, can we deal with the Capricorn? Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Okay? We have Twin Flame, Courage, and Reverse. And we got the song Worse Than Me. All right, let's go ahead and do Leo, 745. All right, Leo, who's this person coming towards you? What kind of energy is this person in? Grief in reverse. Okay, so this person's not really losing anything, or they're not really in, like, a negative energy, so that's good. Judgment in reverse could be a Scorpio or a past person. Maybe this person hasn't really changed. If this is a past person you're dealing with, they haven't really changed. Okay, or maybe they're trying to figure out if they want to reconcile. Let's get a situation card. History, yeah. You're dealing with somebody you have a past history with, okay? This person's not really feeling like they're losing anything or they're not really upset, okay? They could be making some uh, changes in their life or moving, physical change. They could be at a distance, okay? But you're dealing with a past person here. So this is the judgment reversed, bottom of the deck. All right, let's go ahead and get a song. All right, Childish Gambino, Redbone. I'm trying not to waste my time. If you want it, you can have it. It is how this person is. Or try not to waste any time. We're not making more bad decisions. We have Into You by Ariana Grande. A little bit dangerous, but baby, that's how I want it. So I don't know. All right, we have Electric Feel. For some of this person sounds like they just want a booty call or something. Okay. Um, I don't really know. Let's see. <coughs> the songs I got were kind of sexual. All right, I don't know. Maybe it's more than that, but let's see. Sounds like they just kind of want some fun. Let's see here. How? Who is this person? How do you see them? Their actions. Who this person is? Hey, man in reverse. Could be a Pisces. You're seeing them as a nine of cups. Okay, their action. The five of pentacles. See, this person, I don't think they're going to have much of a sincere act. Kind of getting like a player or somebody that's just kind of sexual that just kind of wants... 
a good time. The Empress, they, this person could just want to see if things work out with you again, but they're not really emotionally ready or wanting to emotionally give to this. Could we have Pisces or Taurus Libra? All right, who this person is? Hey, man in reverse. Judgment again. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that doesn't want to do things how they were before. Okay, this person doesn't want to waste any more of their time or they don't really want to invest into this. Who this person is, they don't, they understand exactly what it is they want or they know what they want. They're trying to be, you know, fair to everybody or fair on both sides. But this person realizes because of the past, they do not want to reinvest into this. So this person, they don't want to reinvest into this. They don't want to wait things out. They don't want to grow anything. Okay, the Ten of Wands, they feel like it's a burden. Okay. How you're seeing them, Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords reversed. Five of Swords. Like they confuse the heck out of you. You don't even know if you can trust this person. You're seeing them as your wish fulfillment. There's someone that makes you really happy, but you feel, you know, like, kind of like you're walking on eggshells. You don't really know if you can trust this person, if they have good intentions. Death reversed. You're seeing this person's not making any more changes in their life. They're the same person that you remember. Okay, they cause conflict. They're in and out of your life. They're mentally exhausting. You could see this person as like a liar. This person is only in it for their own reasons or um, they're all about their self. You could see them as um, they're all about their self. With the Nine of Cups, they could be really selfish. Like they're all about their own happiness and things like that. And that's never going to change. They never changed. This person's all about themselves. They're very self-centered and selfish. Okay, buddy. Action they're taking. Five of Pentacles. I wouldn't even waste my time on it, to be honest. Like what's the point of them coming? See, look, Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands. Six of Wands reverse. This person's just going to play games. They're just poking at you to see if they can get attention from you. This person's not going to give to you anymore. This person's going to leave you out in the cold. They're just going to leave the situation, abandon it. You know, I think they're just going to maybe message you and then they're just going to ghost you. Or maybe you guys will, you know, hang out and this person will just blow off plans or something like that. Because I don't see them having a genuine offer. I see you more on defense about this. Okay, or you can't trust it because you know it's going to be the same exact situation. All right, two of swords. You're in your head about this or you're still trying to figure this person out. But you see them as somebody that's just all about their self. You know, they're self-centered. They're all about, you know, their self, making their self happy. And this person hasn't changed. I think that's your song to them. Try not to waste my time. If you want it, you can have it. Let's get your advice. Time for healing. For some of you, you just need to heal from this. Okay, you need to heal from this person. Definitely feel like it's a past person. Communication's key. Okay, nothing's set in stone. So see, you guys could be talking, making plans, and then nothing's set in stone. They could just, you know, ghost you or blow you off. You know, you feel like you don't really know this person or you're walking on eggshells. Like you can't trust them. They're not trustworthy. This is someone that's lied to you before. Or they've played games or they have all kinds of things up their sleeve. You know, this is somebody that just wants your attention, but in a negative way. Could be a Gemini. Okay. So I have Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces. Scorpio or a Pisces or a Gemini. All right. I have this on grief in reverse. It's like a much more negative if they have lost you. It's like they're not upset about it. You know, it's like this person knows that they can get you again or they can come back into your life. This is someone that's not, like, upset over this or, you know, this is someone that just knows that they can just get you. I'm not trying to be negative. It's like, this person's just cocky, you know? All right, Sag. All right. Let me get a sip of coffee and we'll do Sagittarius. All right, he's coming towards Sag, end of December. And I'm sad uh, now it's Capricorn season. Sagittarius season f officially ended. And it's my best friend Brandon's birthday. So if you guys want to give Brandon a shout out. Today's his birthday. I like yeah, I love Brandon. All right. Saggy. This person's energy. They want forgiveness. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody that wants you to forgive them. Okay, health in reverse. This person could be going through a lot of health problems. Okay, but it could be maybe mentally having some health problems or physically. All right, loneliness in reverse. So try not to be lonely anymore. Okay, this is kind of sad. 
this person wants forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. They could be not doing well, you know, in a health situation. Either mentally, maybe they're going to have some uh, mental health problems or physically. Okay? And I don't mean that rude. They just could be having problems in general. See, so look, wish. For some reason, this person's hoping that you guys can forgive each other or that you guys can figure things out. This person's hoping. You know, this person it looks like they are being... To me, so far, they look like they're having good intentions. They look like they're being true. Okay, so I feel like time's running out. And they're sad. This person don't want to lose you. Definitely feel like it's a love situation. All right. And this person don't want to lose you. And they want you guys to maybe forgive each other or just, you know, have bygones be bygones. Let's get a song for you, Sag. All right, so a sad song, still feel by half alive. When I'm furthest from myself, feeling closer to the stars, I've been invaded by the dark. This person's going through a lot of depression, okay? Half alive, this person could be feeling like they're half alive or just feeling really depressed. I'm getting someone that's just really lonely, that's really sad and missing you, okay? We have the freak show here. This person could be having kind of some issues, okay? Freak show, they could be having some things happen in their life, okay? Like, that's what we mean. They could be having a lot of problems, a lot of, you know, things just occurring in their life that's, you know, tricky. So, let's see. Who is this person? How are they showing their self to Sag and their actions? Towards Sagittarius, rest of December. And I just spilled my coffee over the table. too lazy to get a napkin so just wipe it off all right how you're or who this person is page of cups reverse emotionally immature okay with their emotions how you're seeing them king of wands reversed their action the four of swords i think they want to mend things with you i think they want to heal from things they want to heal the situation the moon the world reverse this person has a lot of feelings for you a lot of things are unfinished could be a cancer Okay, so if Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Leo. Who this person is, Page of Cups, Reverse. Could be an age difference or emotionally they're immature. Six of Wands, Reversed. Nine of Swords, Reversed. Queen of Swords. This is somebody that they're not really sure how to handle their emotions, so they come off kind of detached. Okay, I think this person, who they are, is someone that wants to say something to you. They realize, Sag, a lot of things are not working out. They're trying not to be upset about it anymore. They're trying not to be in their head and overthink it. And I think they're upset that things didn't work out between you. And who this person is is somebody that would like to fix things. But they're not going to do it in a, in a you know emotional way. They're not going to be com coming back crying to you. Like, oh my God, take me back. This is somebody that wants to handle things logically. They think business instead of their emotions. Okay, They think of long-term, practical things like that. There's the moon again. How Okay, how you're seeing this person. King of Wands reverse kind of arrogant, okay, or they kind of have some insecurities, three of pentacles, page of swords reversed, like this person is somebody that's kind of demanding, okay, you could see this person as they're kind of, not really stalkerish, but they kind of spy on you, they keep tabs on you, they're kind of shy, okay, but this person also is kind of demanding too, and you see this person as somebody that wants to work on things, but they don't know the exact thing to say to you or the right thing to say to make things work. But this person has a lot of, you know, they should come off showing off kind of cocky, okay? Or like they have all this pride and stuff, but really they don't, you know, eight of pentacles reverse. This person could have, you know, showed a bad side of themselves to you before or uh, made things kind of bad between you by their behavior, okay? But now you're seeing them as somebody that wants to work on things, but they don't know the right thing to say to you. Or when they say it, it comes off overbearing or too much. All right. Action, they're taken. Four of swords. Towards Sag. Star reversed. Full reversed. Ace of pentacles. They're taking their time. They want to heal whatever situation happened in the past. I feel like there still hasn't been healing. Okay. And I think they want to try to heal the past. Because they, they want this to work out, okay? But they're not wanting to take a risk just yet. I think they're slowly wanting to heal whatever phase happened between you guys in the past. And this person is slowly but surely making some kind of offer to you. Definitely feel like they could be offering you commitment, but they want to make sure 
that, you know, you feel the same way that you guys have cleared the air. Okay, definitely feel like they want to get rid of the past. Okay, whatever happened, if you did something, they did something, they want to clear it. Because this person really does care about you and they want a relationship. I see this person actually wanting something here. Okay, they want to get on the same page with you. This person does love you. I get a feeling if they do care, they love you. Okay, but they don't know how to pre present themselves or how to show it. But I feel like sad this person is going to offer you some kind of commitment. But they're making sure that things have been healed between you guys before they offer it. Because they don't want to make some kind of risk. All right? Get your advice towards this person. Fire climax approaches Aries energy. All right, adjustments are required. Very close to achieving your goal. For some of you, it could be a little bit of a dispute. You guys could have a dispute or for some of you, it could be sexual. Okay, so just take whatever resonates. Could be both, you know, make up to break up, whatever. Um, there are adjustments being required and you're very close to achieving it. So if you want to be with this person, you know, you're very close to achieving it. I think you guys are getting there. You guys just need to mend whatever happened in the past. Okay, and that's even if they did, let's just say they've done everything wrong. This person has forgiveness. They want forgiveness or they want you to forgive them. Okay, so we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I've seen Cancer a lot in the reading. I kept seeing the moon. So it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. We have the song Still Feel, Wish, and Forgiveness. This person's hoping for you to forgive them or you guys can forgive each other in this situation. All right? Definitely feel like it's positive. All right? So if this person comes towards you, I feel like it's going to be good. It's not like they're in it for the wrong reasons. All right. Cancer, 2155. It's coming towards my Cancers. End of December. Or rest of December, I should say. All right, Cancer. He's coming towards my Cancers. What kind of energy is this person in? What's the reason for them coming back? Things like that. Honesty reverse. See, you're dealing with someone that's not completely honest or they're not being 100% with you. Okay, indecision in reverse. This person knows they want to talk to you, but they're not being 100% truthful. All right, so this person, you're not really getting a full-on honesty, okay? Or they're hiding something. All right, well, let's go ahead and see why is this person coming around. What's the point? Okay, they're keeping tabs on you. This person could be writing about you, or they're seeing you write things about them, or things that you're posting, things like that. This person's keeping an eye on you. <coughs> they could be writing about you. They could be thinking about you a lot. I feel like it's over between you guys and they're sad. Okay, they could think that things are over, that the time's running out, things like that. Okay, but this person and the energy, they're not being 100% honest. It could just be something small, like they're not going to be honest with their feelings or not going to be completely transparent. We have this on Sweet Dreams by Beyonce. You could be a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. And then I think it goes, either way, I don't want to wake up next to you or something like that, so... All right, we have the song Snow by Red Hot Chili Peppers. You guys had that song yesterday in your reading, all right? So, let's see. Who is this person? How are they showing their self to cancer and their actions? End of December. And this is any energy. So, it could be a new person, past person. Sag was at um, 1415, so if you want to check it out. All right. Cancer. Who this person is. Hair fit reverse. It could be non-committal. Okay? Or just arrogant. How you're seeing them is a wheel in reverse. Their action. Ten of Pentacles reverse. What's the problem? Like, why is this person even coming around? Could be a Taurus, like a Scorpio, Aquarius. Five of Wands. You guys have had a lot of conflict. Okay? Or this person puts you in competition. Who this person is? Hair fit reversed. Yeah, Leo was at 745. I'm doing it by element. All right, hair fit reversed. Page of cups reversed. Seven of wands. Who this person is is somebody that they're not really sure of their emotions or they could have really reckless emotions. So this person tries to protect themselves because it's almost like they're a loose cannon. 
okay, this person protects themselves because they're a loose cannon. They could be very, um, you're welcome. They could be very opinionated, very, you know, they don't really hold back their emotions or they don't know how to process their emotions or they could be kind of emotionally immature for some of you who this person is. They could be kind of, um, non-committal or they're just kind of afraid or they keep people at a distance because they're not really sure if their emotions or things like that how you're seeing them the wheel in reverse the devil in reverse king of swords well you're seeing this person as recognizing something's not working out in their life okay that something needs to change even though it's uncomfortable Okay, and you're, it could be an Aquarius or a Capricorn. You see this person as somebody that is recognizing their behavior, that it's not working out for them. Um, best case scenario, and this person is making changes, okay, for their behavior. Maybe they were very narcissistic, and they're trying to get over that, very um, controlling. They could have had some kind of addiction for some of you. And this person realizes, or you see them as someone that realizes that it's not good for them, whatever behavior it was. They're becoming more practical, more mature. Okay, they're growing up. They're finally, you know, putting on their big boy pants, big girl pants. All right. They could be kind of cold um, cold or closed off is how you're seeing them. Like somebody that's kind of not emotionally attached. They don't really show their emotions. Okay, the Knight of Cups reverse. They'd rather not because then they get stuck in their head. They get confused with their emotions, things like that. Because that's kind of how this person is anyways. So you're kind of seeing them for who they are. Action, they're taking. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. This person, I think they want to make things, um, make amends with you. They want to make things right with you, but they're not telling you the whole truth. Okay, this person, I think they realize that you were somebody that they could have been with. Okay, that you guys could have had a long-term commitment. I think this person's trying to open up to you a little bit here. But they're not telling you the whole untruth. Okay, they're kind of hiding some of the facts or they're just kind of saying what they think you'd want to hear kind of thing this person's not really being 100 percent honest okay and i think they they know what like what to say but they're not saying it or if they open up to it's only going to be a little bit it's not going to be the whole on emotional standpoint i don't know buddy is that teddy okay i think this person has kind of emotional problems like this person don't like to show their emotions or they try to close off emotions. Like, they try not to be vulnerable. It's who this person is. It's kind of how I'm seeing them. Okay, take time to breathe. Don't let this person stress you out. Okay, don't let this person stress you out, Cancer. All right, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Fire climax approaches. Definitely feel like if it's been a problem with this person for a while, I feel like it's coming to an end. Okay, I don't really know what this person necessarily because I think they want to talk to you. But they're not really telling you the whole untruth. Or maybe they're afraid to. Or some of them are afraid to tell you the truth or... They're not really sure how you're going to take it, but this person has been thinking about you, talking about you. All right, could be an Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have honesty in reverse and journal. So this person has wrote about you or they have been, you know, writing things about you. All right, let's do Scorpio. 29 or, yeah, 2835. I can't read. All right. Who's coming towards my Scorpios rest of December? What kind of energy is this person in? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Somebody that loves you. We have love. Okay, somebody that wants to commit to you or this person does love you. Loneliness in reverse. So this person isn't lonely. Okay, this person just wants to love you or they do love you. Let's see the situation. What kind of situation is going to happen? All right, there could be gossip. Okay, there could be a third party or people talk about. Maybe for some of you, this person talks about you to their friends. Okay, let's just say it's something like that. This person really cares about you, loves you. Maybe they mention you to their friends, but there's a little bit of jealousy. Okay, pretending. Somebody could be kind of fake. Okay, so take whatever resonates. I don't know if it's this person or whoever they're involved with. Maybe these people are fake. Like, they could have fake friends, people that aren't actually happy for them, but they act like they are. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and see a song for you guys. All right, first time by Lifehouse. Okay, I'm feeling alive all over again. As deep as the sky under my skin. Like being in love, she says, for the first time. This person, it feels like they're in love for the first time with you. Okay, best to you, blood orange. Part of me is breaking, breaking apart when you come. So, I don't know. I took that in a vulgar way, I'm sorry. Then we have the girl. You sacrifice so much of your life in order for this to work. I mean, that's how this person is. They're sacrificing a lot, okay, or they're trying to. This person feels like they've never loved anyone until they've loved you. So I don't know who this is. All right. Out of the vibe. And I get people around them are jealous. Okay, maybe people, you know, on social media or people they surround themselves with are kind of fake and they're jealous of them, like, having feelings. Go ahead and see. Who is this person? Five of Cups. How you're seeing them. Three of Swords. Could be a past person. Five of Wands Reverse. They want to get out of conflict with you. They don't want any more conflict. Okay. Ten of Wands. They're carrying this burden. They have a lot they want to say to you. Eight of Wands. Who this person is. Five of Cups. I have a lot of regrets, a lot of sadness. Yeah, four of cups. Ace of cups, reverse. For some of you, this person was disappointed in themselves. Okay, for some of you, maybe in the past, this person wasn't able to give you what you wanted or they weren't able to emotionally invest into you or open up their heart. And this person was disappointed how they treated you in the past regarding love or that they weren't available or open to you. Okay, I think this person, who they are, someone that has a lot of regrets or really sad that they did this to you. Maybe they feel like they even took away your trust or something like that. Okay, this person wants to talk to you about what you guys could be. You know, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. How you're seeing them, Three of Swords. Seeing this person like they're hurt. Okay. Ace of Wands, Reverse. Wheel, Reverse. Because nothing ever goes our way. For some of you, if you guys try to communicate with this person, you see them as they try to make an attempt and it just backfires or it doesn't work out. Okay, and it's like the more that this person tries, the more that they're disappointed and it don't work out. And it's like a lot of false starts. So this person's hurting that you guys can't ever work things out. The timing's always off. Okay, for some of you, the timing's always off. You guys try to talk, and then let's just say something happens. You guys try to make plans, and then it's like you're busy. You get called into work, or there's a funeral, or you know, some kind of excuse every time you guys try to make plans. You know, it's like you guys can't ever hang out because... Maybe, your, you know, your tire fell off your car or you got in a car wreck or, um, you know, there's traffic, there's a distance maybe, and then you guys can't travel to this person, you know. And for some of you, there's always some kind of false start and you're seeing them as hurt by this, that they want things to happen, but things never do. Okay, that time never comes. Or you guys never have, you know, things work out. What? I don't know, buddy. Action are taken. Five of Wands in reverse. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. For some reason, this person's not going to be completely honest with you. Okay, this person, when they talk to you, maybe they're trying to look like the victim or things like that. You know, or acting like they don't really have feelings for you that they have. Or um, this person's going to act kind of nonchalant. Like, their action when they talk to you. Maybe they're just trying not to scare you. Or they're kind of acting this energy where they don't really care. You know, that they didn't really see a future with you anyways. Or, I don't know, I'm getting, like, an energy of this person. It's like they're trying not to act like they're disappointed. Okay, but they're, that's who they are, though. There's somebody that's kind of bored or they're disappointed or not really sure if they can emotionally give to this anymore. Okay, and the action they're taking is they're not going to be completely honest about what they want with you. They're going to hide the truth. Let's get your advice. I don't know. It's like this person's just disappointed that things never work out. Your advice, have faith in your dreams. So if this person, you see them in your dreams, have faith that it'll work out. Okay, adjustments are required. It's time to release negativity, Scorpio energy. So release negativity of the situation. Okay, try not to think negative about it. It's kind of how you're seeing them is in a negative way, you know, but not in a bad way, but in kind of negative, you know. We have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Taurus, <coughs> we have, <clears throat> we have this uh, card love here, and then we have gossip, 
Okay, we have the song First Time, My Life House. All right, let's do Pisces, 3505. All right, who's coming towards Pisces? End of December. Ooh. Patience in reverse. I'll take that. Could be a Sag. Patience in reverse. Somebody's lost their patience. Okay, freedom. Maybe this person feels like they're stuck or they just want out. Sometimes this person just feels like they're stuck and they just want to be released. Okay, and they're getting impatient. Let's see the situation they're bringing. Children. Okay, so for some reason, this person just wants to have a good time with you. Maybe they don't want things to be so serious. For some reason, this person wants to just have freedom, have a good time, let loose. Maybe this person wants to drink. You know, maybe because of, you know, New Year's Eve, this person wants to go out, party, have a good time. I'm seeing this person just acting immature. Okay, we have family. Maybe they're going to have their family come out too. Maybe you guys are going to hang out with their family for some of you. All right, maybe they're going to bring their family. But this is someone that doesn't have any patience. All right, let's get a song for this situation. Yes. Okay, we have, um, I almost said Furby. We have John Lennon. Okay, imagine. Okay, you may say I'm a dreamer. I'm not the only one. Enjoy the silence. Some of you guys aren't talking to this person. Words like violence break the silence. Some of you guys, it's like an awkward silence. This person brings their family over. Okay, and it's awkward. Maybe you don't know their family or they act different around their family and it's just really awkward. Okay, I don't know I'm getting like New Year's Eve. Like you guys could go out and drink and then they bring their parents or bring their sister or their uncle or they bring somebody with them. And they want to have a good time. You know, they all want to have fun. And it's just kind of like there's a lot of tension. You know, maybe you're trying to imagine that you're not in that situation or, you know, you're acting like it's not happening for some of you. All right, let's get two more. Who is this person? How do they see Pisces? Or not Pisces. How do you see this person, Pisces, their action? Sorry. Who this person is, the moon, full of secrets. You don't really know if you can trust them. How you're seeing them, Ten of Swords in reverse, Temperance reverse, Patience in reverse. This person's not going to have any patience. Could be a Cancer or a Satch. Okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. This is someone that's doing, oh, it's if they want to reconcile with you, but they're demanding things go their terms or things go their way. This is somebody very demanding, someone that has no patience or very unpredictable. Okay, could be a Libra, a Sag, or a Cancer. Who this person is, the moon. Like, you don't really know if you can trust them. Four of Swords reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody that you cannot trust. This person is someone that's put you through a lot. And I think it's constantly you're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to fix yourself from the situation. But this person keeps returning. It's almost like they keep returning like a bad penny. You can't get rid of this person. And they've put you through a lot. You can't trust them. Or who this person is is somebody that is very unpredictable. Um, this person gives up easily. They're off to the next thing when things feel like it's complicated. Okay, how you're seeing them, Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Wands, Emperor in reverse. You're seeing this person as somebody that they're waiting on you to make a move. They're waiting on you to do something because they don't have the courage or the pride. Or they just don't have the ability to make things work. Okay, this is somebody, how you see them as somebody that's, you know, they've been out of something tough. Okay, they're getting over it. They're trying to heal or they are healing, but this person still has a lot of um, insecurities or fear when it comes to making a move, okay? So maybe this person likes you. It could be an Aries. You see this person as somebody that is waiting on you to make some kind of response or you to make some kind of gesture, okay? Because, look, they, maybe they feel like they don't have enough to give or they just don't want to, all right? They just don't simply care, you know? Action, they're taking temperance reverse. Yes, buddy. Eight of Swords reversed. Six of Wands reversed. Page of Swords. This person wants to get your attention and they're mad because they only have so much they can do. The person feels like, you know, they want freedom. They want to stop feeling stuck. They want to maybe break the silence, break the ice. I don't know why I'm getting that, but this person's getting mad how things have went. Maybe they're mad, 
and they're coming from a place of anger when they try to get your attention. It's like they're angry. They're mad and disappointed things didn't work out. But I, don't, I feel like this person's codependent. I don't feel like they have much to offer you. If they were to come towards you, it'd be the same exact situation how it was before. You know, maybe this person's immature. There's, you know, age difference between you guys. Or this person just acts immature. I'm kind of getting that for their action. It's like they're going to communicate, but they're angry still. Or it's out of a place of, like, that they're upset. You know, they're impatient. They're wanting you to make some kind of gesture. Okay, let's get your advice. Buck is on your side, Sag energy. Buck is on your side. You are good enough. So whatever happens in this situation, you are good enough. Luck is on your side. Um, Virgo, Sag energy. So even if it doesn't work out with this person, you you are good enough. Okay. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer. Okay, I have child uh, children here. Patience in reverse, and then I have Imagine by John Lennon. All right, let's go ahead and do Taurus, 4105. All right, who's coming towards Taurus, rest of December? Okay, guys, I've done uh, fire and water, now I'm on Earth, and then I'll do air. All right, starting Earth, we got Taurus. Who's coming towards my Tauruses, the rest of December? Somebody that loves you. Okay, we have love. Scorpio had that as well. Loneliness. Reverse. They had the same cards. Okay, so Scorpio. You guys could be doing the Scorpio. They had the same cards. Loneliness, reverse, and love. Okay, imagination. Let's go ahead and see the situation. Let's see. Okay, this person's wishing or hoping things can work out between you. Okay, we have they feel kind of mentally stuck. Okay. I don't know why I'm thinking this person, they're like stuck in their house because I have the house card here. Soul changes, things like that. This person could be, um, they could have moved or they're in a new spot, a new place, a new spot. They're lonely. This person maybe wants you to come over. They're not really sure. Maybe they want to show you their new house, but you guys aren't in communication. Something like that. All right. Let's get a song for Taurus. What's a song for this situation? Led Zeppelin. See, over the hills and far away, there could have been a distance. Or this person could have, you know, moved. Maybe this person has, like, where they have hills behind their house. Or they live kind of in the woods or near the woods. Um, just many times I've lied. Many times I've listened. Many times I've wondered how much there is to know. So this could be a past person that you guys have been through a lot with. Okay, I know their songs came out. So definitely could be, you know, a little bit of distance with you and this person. That's a Furby. So let's see, Taurus, what we got going on. Thank you guys for being in here. I just realized how many's in here. Thank you. Sorry it's so early. I just wanted to get this reading done since I'm off today. All right, who's coming towards Taurus? So forward somebody that loves you and is hoping for a good outcome. Okay. Who this person is, Nine of Swords. This is someone that, that thinks too much. Okay, they're in their head too much. They overanalyze. Could be an air sign. How you're seeing them, Knight of Wands. Could be a Sag. Action, they're taking the sun. Leo. This person wants to make you happy. Okay, this person wants to bring happiness to the situation. Four of Pentacles, Reverse Six of Wands. They could be opening up about how they feel to you. Okay, giving you attention and telling you how they feel. I don't know, Bryn. Okay, who this person is? Nine of Swords. Sorry, my hair is like itching. All right, Nine of Swords. This is somebody that's in their head too much. Because I had that card at the bottom of that deck there. Yeah, five of cups. This person has a lot of regrets, a lot of sadness. Four of wands. This is someone that wants stability. Maybe they're lonely. For some of you, this person bought a house. Or they just changed where they live at. And this person's lonely. Okay? Or this person's kind of sad. Because maybe they thought you guys could have had something together. And maybe they're, you know, putting all the blame onto their self. Like, maybe if I did this, this wouldn't have happened. Or things like that. This person, like, overanalyzes and overthinks too much. And it's like they're trying to bring stability to their life, but they kind of conflict themselves. Okay? Who, um, how you see this person? Knight of Wands. They're kind of quick moving. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Moon reverse. You're seeing this person as being very transparent. They're not hiding their feelings. They're very emotional. Um, this is somebody that is very well-balanced. 
Okay, they're emotional, but they're also practical and they get things moving. Okay, they could be kind of uh, quick, quickly moving, but when it comes to feelings, they kind of go slow. Okay, so maybe they, for some of you, if this is somebody that you have been with, maybe you guys hooked up really quick and then they didn't really want to emotionally get invested into you real soon, you know, but then it's like eventually over time, they became more aware of their feelings and things like that. Okay, but you see this person as being very stable. Okay, they have a lot of inspiration, a lot of passion. Um, they're very exciting to be around. Okay, they're also like emotional and romantic. All right. Action they're taking, the sun. Eight of Wands reversed. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords reversed. Two of Cups reversed. I think this person's waiting on you. I think this person's trying to bring some kind of happiness to their life. They're trying to focus on themselves, things like that. But I do feel like they're kind of taking some time to talk to you. The Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands reverse. I feel like eventually, good morning, Tamika. Eventually, Taurus, you're going to talk to this person or they are going to communicate. But I think they have some things that they're trying to figure out. This person does love you. They do have feelings for you. But I think they're trying to take their time. Okay, maybe they want to make sure that they come off, you know, that they're mature, you know. So I think it's going to be some time to hear from them, but definitely feel like, you know, communication is going to eventually open up. All right, let's get your advice. Your commitment's being tested. For some of you, if you're already in another commitment, this is being tested. Okay, maybe this person wants to come back around, but you're already involved or you're with somebody else. Okay, so maybe this person wants to talk to you, and that's why they're not. Maybe they know that you're in another relationship, you're happy, they don't want to make things worse. Okay. Yeah, prosperity lies ahead. So I definitely feel like this person wants to have something work out with you. Could be another Taurus. Okay, but they're taking their time. Because maybe they think you're already involved, or they're waiting for things to gradually get better. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Sag, Capricorn, Leo... Okay. I have love and wish. Maybe they're wishing you guys can be together, but maybe there's another person or something else in the way. All right, let's go ahead and do Virgo, 4720. All right, who's coming towards Virgo? Rest of December. Man, we don't have much of December left. I just looked over. We have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like nine days. Jeez. Of this year, I guess you could say. Wow, we only have nine days of this year left. That's crazy. All right. Courage in reverse. Could be done with a Leo. This person doesn't have much courage or they have some kind of insecurity or pride. Okay, relationships. This person may want a relationship with you. Okay. But I see, or you guys could be already in a relationship or they want a relationship, but maybe they don't have the courage to ask you out. Hey, how's it going? I'm on Virgo, guys. Um, maybe they don't really have the courage to ask you out. Maybe they're kind of afraid. Let's see the situation that's unfolding. Gossip. This person could be in a third party already. They could be in another relationship. Because they had relationships, gossip. They could be in another relationship, and that's why they're not coming towards you. See, unexpected. They could have some kind of problem with uh, child support or some kind of, like, parent situation here. Okay? But maybe unexpectedly they're going to show up. So let's get you a song. See, I'm kind of in the sense you might be dealing with somebody that has another relationship formed. Either they have kids with them or something else happening in this person. That's why they can't really have the courage to come towards you. Okay, I've stick with you by Pussycat Dolls. I don't want to go another day. I'm telling you exactly what is on my mind. Okay. Never really over. Okay, Katy Perry. Blame on you, Rod Wave. You did me wrong. Such a shame on you. Had to leave you alone. What it came down to. So for some of you, either you or this person feels like you guys did each other wrong. Maybe they put you in a third party or other people were in the way of this connection. So it doesn't have to be, you know, they were in another relationship. Maybe they let other people get in the way. You know, maybe they list me their their ego wasn't there and they were letting other people influence their opinions. You know, I kind of was with somebody like that. They I don't know why they played games and they like, you know, would talk crap about me. Literally a guy, he would talk crap about me. 
and like act like I was just like not good and I was annoying and get influence of other people to talk about me and it's just like why you know it's just people are weird so let's go ahead and see so maybe that's what they're doing they're having other people kind of say their opinion of you or having other people get in the way and all they are is just these are people that are more of a burden you know who this person is a chariot reversed how you're seeing them, six of wands reverse. See, I'm getting somebody that's not, they don't have the courage or they have some kind of ego problem or something of that. No, oh, that sucks. Four of pentacles for their actions. See, this is somebody that doesn't really want to open up. They're kind of holding back. Could be a cancer. Gemini. Yeah, this person has emotional problems. Okay. King of cups reverse, knight of swords reverse. They don't know how to communicate their feelings or how to express their feelings. All right, this is somebody that just, they don't really know what to do. <laughs> All right, who this person is? Chariot reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Nine of Swords. Somebody that's in their head too much. This is somebody that causes herself a lot of setbacks because they overthink. They overanalyze and they have a fear of opening up. Okay, Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that always is afraid they're going to get their hopes up. You know, or things are not going to work out. Things are a waste of time. This person has, like, a negative mindset in life. I'm not sure we negative. This person has a negative mindset. They think that everything's a waste of time or that they're just going to be taken advantage of or they're going to be screwed over. This is someone that don't... It's like they don't really have much courage or pride. This person's afraid of... It's like they have so many insecurities that they're afraid that they're just going to be screwed. You know? How you're seeing them. Six of Wands in reverse. For some of you, you don't see anybody wanting this person. I'm not trying to be negative. Like, they don't get any attention. Like, they're just annoying. Yeah, the wheel in reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. I'm not trying to be rude. How you're seeing this person is somebody that's having just, like, a lot of problems in general. Okay, maybe you see this person as having a lot of issues. Okay, Virgo, I don't mean to be rude. This person, it's like maybe they're having a lack of income. Like, nobody really wants this person. <sighs> Nothing really changes for them. They're, like, in a negative mindset. This person could be somebody that takes from people. Okay, they could be like a person that takes from people. They um, they don't really get any attention. They don't, it's like they keep trying and trying and nothing ever goes their way. Nothing really good is happening for this person. Or at least you see them as somebody that's not really getting anything good. Okay, with the tower, this person could have all kinds of unexpected problems. Okay, they could just be a hot mess and you're like trying to avoid it. This person's actions, four of pentacles. High Priestess, see, they're keeping to their self. Knight of Wands, reverse. This person has, like, a lot of insecurities, a lot of self-esteem issues that are deeply rooted. Okay, I think this person is just... I don't know if I would entertain this. Okay, this person comes towards you. I don't think they're going to. Um, They're just not going to tell you the truth. They're going to hold back. What, Brayden? I don't know. Sorry, I was, like, going on in a ramble, and he's just like, hi. All right, so this person, they're not... I don't really see them coming towards you. They don't really have much pride or courage to come towards you because courage is in reverse. And this person wants to tell you what is on their mind or you want to, but it's like, I don't really know if you're going to get through to this person. Okay, Virgo, four of cups and the lovers. You guys could be in like in a really deep connection with this person, but you feel like right now you're not connected at all. You know, you feel like there's just a space between you. I don't know why I'm getting that song by Bush, the chemicals between us. Maybe you feel like there's just, like, a lot of space and a lot of weirdness, you know? And I don't really see this person coming towards you. I see them kind of pulling back, kind of just not really being responsive, you know? Not like they're dead, but they're, like, not being responsive. <laughs> not like they're dead somewhere, but they're just not answering. They're not opening up about their feelings, anything like that. All right? Communication's key. I think that's what you're wanting is the communication with this person, okay? Maybe you're wanting the opposite, you know, Mercury here. You're wanting... Virgo, you're wanting communication. You want things to be opposite of how they're going. Okay? You want Gemini energy. You want communication. You want things to work. And you're just mad how things are not working out. Okay? Emotions are running high. For some of you, Virgo, the situation upsets you. Because you want things to be more prosperous. You want things to move forward. But it's like you want communication. You know? You want things to work out. And it's like this person just has a lot of ego problems or whatever. We have Sag. We have Pisces. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay, Cancer. Courage in reverse and gossip. Okay, we have this on stick with you, pussycat dolls. Maybe you're trying to stick with this person, but it's like, how can I when, you know, they're always just, you know, not really sure. 
All right, 54.50, let's do Capricorn. Happy birthday to all the Capricorns. It's officially Capricorn season. One second, let me grab a water, I'm thirsty. One second. I'll grab it. It's okay, buddy. All right. All right, sorry guys, I drank coffee and my throat got all kind of like, I can taste the coffee and it tastes gross. Just the aftertaste, ugh. It's all like sticky feeling. Okay. All right, Capricorn, who's coming towards you? Rest of December, in the next nine days. All right, Capricorn. You're welcome. Let's see. All right, death. So it could be somebody trying to end things or things have ended. It could be a Scorpio. Okay, gratitude. For some of you, this is... I'm not going to be negative. For some of you, this person is ending things. So if you're currently with somebody, they're trying to end things. Okay, they're thankful for the connection, but maybe they realize it's not working out. Okay, because then we have grief. So they realize they're going to lose you. Okay, but I feel like this person knows they need to end things. All right, so maybe it's a situation that's not working out, and this person realizes, you know, it's not working out. Let's just put this to an end. And that could be anybody in your life. So let's see. Yeah, lost. For some reason, this person feels like they're being rejected or you're just not really responsive to them. And maybe they feel like they just need to put an end to this, okay? Or an expectation of you guys talking. Because, look, we have triggers. This person's kind of triggered. Okay, or maybe they're upset, you know, like, they just feel like you don't want to talk to them anyway. So maybe they feel like they just have to end things. Hold on, Brayden. Let's get a song. Okay, the killers, when you were young. You sit there in your heartache waiting on some beautiful boy to save you from your old ways. Maybe that's how this person felt, like they were just kind of not really in your life. They were just kind of there when it was convenient. All right, never be the same. Camilo Caballo. You're dealing with someone that's kind of, yeah, all of me. You're dealing with someone that's kind of dramatic. One second, he needs to go to the restroom. Once, Brayden, as soon as I sit down. All right, sorry guys. All right, sorry guys. Anyway, so I think you're dealing with somebody that realizes, you know, you guys just need to end things, things like that. Now I'm thirsty. All right, let's see. Maybe they just feel lost. They feel like they're lost in the situation. They're lost, you know, like what's happening? Why are things going this way? So let's see, who is this person? How are you seeing them and their actions towards you? For Capricorn. Who this person is, Nine of Wands. Thank you guys for liking. How you're seeing them, King of Swords, action, the King of Cups. <coughs> Could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius. This person has a lot of love for you. Okay, I think they're not really going to show their emotions, but their feelings are there. Okay, the moon. Yeah, they're not going to show their feelings. All right, who this person is, nine of wands. You know, I don't mean to be negative, kind of like a warrior. Someone that's been through a lot of stuff. Three of cups in reverse and the justice. For some of you, this is somebody that's been through some kind of bad situation regarding a third party. So they could have had a bad marriage or a bad, um, they finally got some kind of, you know, clarity on a bad situation. They could have been through a lot in regarding people, relationships in their life, things like that. Okay, the devil reverse. They could have been through a lot of traumatic, hard times in their life, and they're overcoming it. How you're seeing them is a keen sword. Because of that, they're coming off kind of cold and detached. That's how you're seeing them. Yeah, the ten of swords reversed. Five of pentacles reversed. Hair fit. You could see this person as they're kind of back and forth, whether or not they want to be in a relationship. Okay, so this person knows the right thing to do is to maybe be with you, but this person you're seeing them as kind of inconsistent or they're not really sure, you know, if they want this relationship, if they want to be with you. 
You see them going back and forth. You don't really see them being emotionally open either. They're kind of closed off. Okay. But they're trying to be more mature. Yeah, you're seeing this person is mature. It's trying not to handle things in a negative way. Their action, King of Cups. Page of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Strength reversed. Devil reversed again. Queen of Swords. I think this person's really focusing on their long-term goals. But right now, it's like they're kind of... I don't really see them putting any attention onto you. I see them having a lot of feelings for you. But right now, it's like they're not paying you any attention or they're not giving attention to this because they think they have some things within their self they have to fix. With the strength reverse, it's like they have some inner work they have to fix on themselves. And with the death card here, I think they, they've lost themselves or lost what they're trying to do, their purpose in life, and they're trying to get to it. You know, and I think they're trying to make some kind of change. With the Ten of Pentacles, they could be strictly focused on their long-term goals or where they're living at, their stability, things like that. I don't see them really wanting to end things with you. I see right now, they're not, you know, bringing much time to this right now. Maybe they're going back in time to when they were young or thinking about their past, like things they've been through, you know, and they're trying to make changes. So let's go ahead and see your advice, Capricorn. Your commitment's being tested. So if you are with this person, I feel like it's being kind of tested. You're not really sure where things are going. Okay, prosperity lies ahead. Win-win outcomes and forecast. So maybe eventually it's just a bump in the road. Maybe eventually things will get better with you and this person. Okay, but I see right now this person's having a lot of things they're trying to discover about themselves or fix. All right, we have Taurus, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Leo, Libra. All right. We have death. Could be a Scorpio, like I said. Okay, lost. Okay, you can feel lost in the situation. You're not sure what's going on. I don't want to keep thinking lost in the sauce. I don't know why I'm thinking that. All right. So we have the song, When You Were Done. Okay. So now we're doing air signs. Let's do Gemini 10205. I need more water. I feel like thirsty. That's the thing about coffee. It, like, dehydrate, dehydrates me. Makes me thirsty. Plus, I made it really strong. All right. Who's coming towards Gemini? Rest of December. What kind of energy is this person in? Change. Okay, so it could be a Scorpio. This person wants to make change. Okay, gratitude person wants to change things so whatever maybe this person is thankful that you're in their life and they want to change how things are going okay let's see the situation okay so this is being projected so this is happening the next couple of days or maybe weeks okay that's the situation this change is happening in the next couple of days or weeks okay some of you, you guys could end up pregnant okay Really? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I know I'm thirsty. I don't know what's going on. It's just I think it's that coffee I drink. So some of you guys could be pregnant or you know, maybe thinking about getting things going. Alright. So let's go ahead and get a song. Let's see. So I see change happening. So that's good. Alright. Alright. Bon Jovi, bed of roses. Okay, so they want to lay you down a bed of roses. Tonight I'll sleep on a bed of thorns. so Or bed of nails. I don't want to say thorns. Um, so I don't know what's going on here. It's kind of like there's issues in the relationship. And maybe they want to fix it. Maybe you and this person have been fighting a lot. Or, you know, a lot of conflict. And this person wants to get over it. Alright, so. I see change happening. Maybe they want to fix the relationship. So, let's see. Right, it's too early for cake. All right, let's get one more shuffle. What did you just say? It's too early for cake. Whoa! All right. Sorry, guys. He's home from Christmas break, so. All right, who this person is? Three of Cups in reverse. How you're seeing them is Nine of Wands. The Magician. Could be another Gemini you're dealing with, okay? Or they have that in their chart, all right? If Cancer, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Ten of Swords. 
Definitely feel like this person's put you through a lot. Okay, Ten of Wands in reverse. I'm doing that. For some of you, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This person's put you through a lot of insecurities, a lot of fears. Could it be a codependent situation? All right. Who this person is? Three of Cups in reverse. This person could listen to a lot of gossip or rumors, let other people get involved. I'm jittery from that coffee. <laughs> All right, Three of Cups reversed. See, Two of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. This is somebody that wants to communicate. They know what the right thing to communicate is about, but they still are holding on to some kind of grudge, okay? Or some kind of negative thinking. With the Page of Cups. Maybe this person, you know, they do have emotions here for you. Okay, or they want to mend things emotionally between you, but they are kind of immature or emotionally immature. And they do want to fix things, but they let their friends get in the way or other things get in the way, even though they know that's not the right thing. All right. How you're seeing the Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords reversed. You see this person as somebody worth fighting for. Okay, even though they've put you through a lot of crap, you see this person as somebody you could end up marrying, being with. Even though they put you through a lot, it's like you're not second guessing it. You know, this is who you want. You know, Ace of Cups. You see them as somebody you want to be open to, you know, emotionally, physically. I see you wanting to be with this person, Gemini. I see you wanting long term. You know, even though they've put you through a lot, it's like maybe you're wanting to fix things too. Okay, yeah, Five of Swords and the Justice. They've mentally put you through a lot, but I feel like there's balance here or change. Okay. Nice. Their actions is the Magician. Hermit. Wheel reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. For some of you, this person has a lot of things they have to fix with their self. Okay, they have to fix their insecurities. They have to realize, kind of sit back and wonder why things aren't. And I kind of see maybe this person is doing that. They're trying to manifest better change between you guys. Because maybe they realize whatever they're doing is not working. You know, it's causing more problems in the relationship. Maybe they're codependent. Maybe they have money, financial problems. And this person, I see them really self-reflecting. Because there is feelings here. They do care about you. They want to be with you. But I see them, like, going from within, wondering why things aren't working out. You know, what can I do to fix this? With the devil and the five of pentacles. They could be constantly, like, regretting this or feeling bad for themselves because of what they're doing. They could just be thinking really negatively about themselves. Like, they're not good enough. They don't have enough money to be with you. Things like that. Or they've really put problems to the situation. All right, let's get your advice. But I'm getting there's changes being made. Like, somebody's really wanting things to work out. So, let's see. Emotions are running high. So, yeah, I definitely feel like there's a lot of emotions here. You guys both want to work on this because you definitely love this person. You see long term, but you're wanting things to change. My babe. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy. Time for healing. Okay. So, I see, you know, you guys are safe when it comes to the situation, but I see change happening. Okay. And I see it on this person's side. They're self-reflecting. How can they be better? How can they do things better? All right. So, it could be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I see change here and it's happening in the next couple of days or weeks. Okay, maybe right before the new year. All right, so, let me write down your song. All right, let's go ahead and do Libra 10840. All right, so, what's going on with Libra? Let's see who's coming towards Libra. Let's see here. Okay, somebody that's lonely. All right, so you have somebody that's lonely coming towards you. Okay, surrender. For some of you, there's distance, and this person's lonely without you. They want to fix things, but look, they don't have the courage. Courage in reverse. So I don't know if this is like a past person. Let's see. Tragedy. Okay, forbidden love. For some of you, this person, maybe they kept you as a secret. Okay, or you guys weren't really anything. You guys didn't have a label on the connection. And this person's lonely. Okay, we have divine masculine here. 
Okay, so this person could be very masculine, all right? Or that could just be an interference. Let's go ahead and get a song. Jeez. All right. And I bought more index cards, so I'm going to make more songs. I got some colored ones. I'm excited. All right. This song already came out. Let me get another one. But it was Sweet Dreams by Beyonce. All right. Nicki Minaj. Good form. So he sees me looking pretty every time he scrolls up. Maybe that's why this person's upset. Maybe they see you looking good and they feel like they missed out on you. Okay, bring me to life, Evan Incense. Oh, so what's going on with this person? All right. So maybe this person sees you looking good, Libra. Now they're upset. You know, they laugh. They're not in your life because you're looking good now. It's usually how it goes. You know, you're looking good and then people want you now. It's like, why well, you didn't want me two years ago? Why do you want me now? You know? All right. What we got? I just took off this phone. All right. Who this person is? King of Wands. Okay. How you're seeing them is the Ace of Swords. Their actions, the death. Okay. This person could be wanting to make changes. Okay. Because who they are is somebody that's taking action. Leo Energy, Scorpio. Wanting to take action towards this. All right. The world reversed. They don't like the burden of this unfinished business. They don't like that you guys don't have things fixed. All right. Who this person is. King of Wands. The Wheel. Eight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> For some of you, this person has a lot of changes in their life. Okay, or they're making a lot of positive changes, and I think they're kind of uncomfortable. With the Eight of Swords, they're kind of uncomfortable. They're kind of stuck because there's some kind of change happening, but I think it's for the better. I think they're really taking better care of their self, their family, things like that. This person is somebody that gets things going, all right? It could be a Capricorn, too, or a Leo. This person gets things going, but they're kind of feeling stuck somewhere in their life, okay? How you're seeing them is the Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles. For some of you, you see this person as somebody that makes you really happy. Okay, okay, but they have some kind of confession. For some of you, this person, maybe they lied to you about something and you see them that they need to confess. Maybe they were in another relationship. They had a family with somebody, something of like that. But you see them as needing to tell you the truth. Okay, just being emotionally stable enough to tell you the truth of something. Okay, maybe you see them as having something to offer you, but it's not enough. So if they don't have a family, this person could just be somebody you see as a potential partner that could make you happy, but you're not really sure if it's leaning towards marriage, commitment, things like that. Like it's something small, casual, but it's not something long term. All right, their action, the death. Eight of Wands reversed. Three of Cups. Two of Swords. They're conflicted whether or not they should reach out to you. I think this person wants to reconcile. Okay, but they're in their head about it. Two of Swords. They're trying to figure out if that's the best thing to do. Because it's like they want to communicate, but there's distance between you. Or you guys haven't been talking. And maybe they want to break the silence. They want to talk to you. Make some kind of change. They could feel like it's completely over between you and them. And they're afraid. They want to come towards you. But maybe they're afraid that you're dating other people or you're already involved. You know? With the Ace of Wands, the Empress, they could be afraid that you're pregnant or you're already involved in something new, some kind of new relationship. So whatever the case may be. I see them wanting to reach out. They want to reconcile, but it's like they're pulling themselves back or they're not really sure 100% if they should. All right. So let's get your advice. Yeah, maybe they're lonely and they're upset. Maybe they feel like you're gone. Like you're already in another relationship. You're happier. Okay, your advice, energy is gaining momentum. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so don't let pride get in your way of the situation. I think this is gaining momentum. I think this person is in this process of wanting to fix things, of wanting to talk to you. But I don't know, they're kind of conflicting their self. Maybe because of third parties or things like that. All right, so it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Big deck. I know the. these are all my songs. I'm going to add more to it. So I have loneliness and tragedy. I, don't know, I might like split it up. I might do like the colored ones by themselves and then the 
white ones. Nice. I know I love having cards. All right, so we have the song Good Form. Some of you guys could be pregnant, Libra, you know? Oh, I want to see your deck. That'd be so cool. All right. So, 1-15-04. Let's do Aquarius. Last but not least. We get a water break. All right. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's coming towards you? Lately, these... Uh, Aquarius readings have been resonating for me. That's my moon sign. So, some of you guys might want to check out your moon sign. They've been really resonating. Okay. Balance. Could be a Libra. Somebody wants to bring balance to this. Okay? They want to have things balanced. They want to work on things. All right? Forgiveness in reverse, though. For some of you, they feel like, you know, there's a lack of forgiveness or um, maybe you're not wanting to forgive them, something of that. Okay? But this person wants to bring balance. But there's forgiveness in reverse. Maybe they feel like you don't want to forgive them or you don't want, you know, forgiveness. Let's see. Okay, we have family. All right, this could be someone that has people involved because they have a family or they have kids. Okay? We also have obsession. For some of you, you guys aren't communicating. There's awkward silence between you. But this person's, like, stalking you or upset. Not really stalking you, but they're, just, like, spying on you. They're, they could be looking you up online. This person's obsessed. And maybe they're wanting to make something work with you, but they have some kind of situation with family or something's kind of holding them back. For some of you, this person wants to... And, um, I got Aquarius going on right now. That's the last one. I got I already got the other ones done. All right. So we got Dreams by the Cranberries. Okay, my life has changed in every day in every possible way. This person could be having a lot of changes, maybe because of family or other things getting in the way. But I see this person wanting to balance things with you. Okay. <laughs> we have the song by Travis Scott and Chris Wu. Baby, you a star. All these other girls are extras. So you guys could be dealing with somebody that has options. I'm not trying to lie. This person has options or like if, um, so take whatever resonates. But maybe this person, in their eyes, you're the star. You know, like everybody else is just kind of there. You know, so if this person sees you, they could have dreams about you. Okay, because I did have obsession, things like that. This person could have dreams about you and, like, your, like, their wish come true. Okay, so Aquarius, take whatever resonates. But I'm getting this person. They don't really see anybody else but you. Not to sound kind of corny, but, you know, like, those people are just kind of in the background, you know. Like, they don't really exist. They don't really matter. All right, let's see. Who is this person? How are you seeing them and their actions towards Aquarius? Stomach's starting to growl. All right. Let's see. Right, and you ate all the string cheese. No. All right, sorry. Anyways, that's random. Who this person is? Seven of Swords. How you're seeing them? King of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords are action. Could be a Scorpio. Two of Cups, though. Person loves you, but they put you through hell, and I think you're not really sure if you want to continue it. All right. Who this person is? Seven of Swords. They're very sneaky. The Sun. Four of Wands. So who this person is is somebody that wants commitment, but they kind of come off shady or kind of come off secretive. Okay? Like, maybe they plan something and they don't tell you about it. This is somebody that tries to be optimistic. Okay? They try to be optimistic. But they also kind of hide things or maybe they feel like they have to lie for some reason. They feel like in order to be happy and have stability, they have to lie or keep things kind of on the down low. All right. Maybe they just are a private person. All right. right. I know I bought like a big pack. There was 12 string cheeses. I had two of them. The whole pack was gone. My kid ate them. So mad. How you're seeing them. King of Cups reverse and the Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. Okay. I love you, yes, but I don't like you ate my cheese. <laughs> that's my cheese um how are you seeing this person aquarius is that they do want to reconcile with you okay they do want to come towards you they do have some kind of truth that, some kind of truth to confess i can't talk but it's like they're emotionally afraid of being vulnerable or their feelings are going to take over for some of you you see this person as they maybe can't handle their emotions okay so if they come towards you maybe they're going to start crying or they're going to start 
um, really being like showing their emotions towards you or just the way they communicate or talk to you, their emotions are going to come out. Okay, like they just can't handle their emotions anymore. Page of Swords in reverse and the judgment. You could see them as wanting to come towards you again, reconcile, but they've been afraid or they've been just looking you up online and not talking to you. You know, like those situations where, you know, somebody wants to talk to you, but they're afraid to, you know, say something. I've had that happen where somebody wants, they're like, oh, thank you for messaging me. I've been wanting to talk to you. And it's like, well, just text me. I'm not intimidating. You just message me. You know, it's kind of what this person's doing. It's like they've been wanting to break the silence. All right. Their action, three of swords. Mommy, is this a horsey kiss? Mm-hmm. The world. Six of swords reversed. Six of cups reversed. I don't know, I think this person's getting to the point where it's like the more that they're waiting for you, the more that they're hurting. I think this person wants to reach out to you. They want, you know, to have a new beginning. But it's like this person's not really meeting you halfway. It's like they're still kind of holding on to some kind of grudge or some kind of, you know, bad thing that happened. This person's hurting that they, it's like they want to come towards you. They could be coming towards you with the world here. But the Six of Swords reverse, it's like they're kind of afraid to meet you halfway. You know, they're kind of afraid to meet you halfway. Maybe they're afraid that there's still a lot of negative feelings or, you know, things they have to let go from the past. It's almost like they're sick and tired of waiting on you to reach out to them. Because I see them, like, waiting on you, okay? And it's like you see them as wanting to come towards you, but it's like they're emotionally not ready or emotionally not sure, you know? And I see this person kind of debating whether or not to say something to you. It's almost like they want you to break the silence or you to message them. All right, so I don't know why, but it's like they want you to do something. And it's like they're hurting. The more they're not talking to you, the more it's hurting them. All right, so let's get your advice, Aquarius. All right, fiery climax approaches, Aries energy. All right, Brayden. Sorry, guys. Is that being a boy? Not really. Just, can you wait till I'm done? No. Just hold on. Let me just finish this. So, bring love to the situation. Aquarius energy. Be right, bold to make the first move. All right, Brian, just go. Yeah, go open it. So, be bold to make the first move. Some of you guys, this person's waiting on you to make the first move. I'm kind of getting that. This person could be getting really angry that things aren't working out. All right, Aquarius. So, let's go ahead and see. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio. Okay, Leo. All right. So, I got the song Dreams by the Cranberries. I got Family. And I got balance. All right, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. The comments, uh, or not in the comments, the description. I'll have the timestamps. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you.